So guys, I'm glad you're here and today we gonna actually learn how to <laughs> fake the cell shader for those who don't want to use any post process or for those who uses forward rendering. Actually, the whole idea is to create the material function. Let me show you how it looks. And by creating this, you only need to open your master material for all kinds of mesh you want to apply this function and just pull a wire and connect the output from this function into the normal input of your material. As you can see from the screen, we have pretty much the same layout that we have in my previous tutorial. Basically what we do, we just use the some sort of color palette, then multiply it round seal or floor and divide it by the same scalar parameter. So what it does, it actually creates some sort of bands. By withdrawing the sub numbers of the float number, we can receive the lower or higher overall scalar. For instance, if we have 1.2, it will round to 1. If we have 1.5 or 6, it will round to 2. And by this, we create the bands. So the higher bands, the higher scalar parameter is, the more bands we will receive and the overall result will actually look like there is no effect at all. The lower, the lower scalar parameter we use, the more cell shaded effect we will receive. It's just the proof of concept. You can actually expand it with more logic you want. I guess if you have some proper request, with the idea how to or what you want from this cell shader, I can definitely make the tutorial on it. So, the basic idea is to manipulate the vertex normal of space. We mask all channels, then use the computations that I just told you, then simply make the new vector and we use transform vector from wall space to tangent space. So the vector will look from the different sides of the wall space normals. Then all you need to do is to open your material As for the example, I have the male body of the third person character mannequin. And here in normal, I just add my material function. So, actually, that's how it will work. This won't require any scene depths, custom render passes and so on. If you want your model to be self-shaded, you just need to add this function into the material of the model that should look self-shaded. This feature also works with the lights, with shadows and so on. You don't need any normal map, but in case to receive the pretty decent result, you need to make some contrast fancy diffuse or albedo textures and play around with the post-process volume in your level. 
So that's it. I hope you like this quick the idea how to fake the cell shader. Maybe someone finds it helpful. And we'll see you soon. I'll see you soon.